Hola and welcome. Now today is a bit of a head mash and yeah that's head mash for me. I've spared you like the head mashiness. <laughs> anyway, um, what I was going to do today is actually install the uh, wireless card, the wireless PCMCA card for the Amiga 1200 and 600 and show you the setup of that everything. However, after setting it up and making that video, I then realized you know, nothing was working. It just nothing was working. And uh, I even pressed scan. And on a freaking no Wi Fi thingy found, whatever. Anyway, the issue I was having, goodness sake, issue I was having was the fact that I think I've been sent the wrong freaking card. I ordered a wireless card, I think I sent a freaking, they sent me a wired card instead. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen, you know, Ethernet cards, Ethernet PCMCI cards before, so I wouldn't know. But this does not look like a wire wireless PCMCA, which I have seen before. Anyway, so the plan was to actually install this on the Amiga 1200, show you how to do that, then install it on the 600, and show you the demonstration of AK Real. And uh, you know, because I need the wireless to make, I need internet connection to show you all the features properly, demonstrate it nicely, and then show you the installation. Of AK Real, you know, install with me, how to install, tutorial, guide, whatever. So hopefully by next week I will have done this, um, you know, the, it'll come and I will show you this uh, wireless installation on the Amicas. However, uh, what I'm going to show you today is the installation, the thing I was going to show you last, I'm going to show you first, the installation of AK Real on a Vampire 600. Enjoy! Okay, so first thing we need to do is actually clean up this drive. Last time I did this, somebody actually said, why don't you just use the Windows formatter? Using this is, you know, pointless. Uh, but what I'm actually wanting to do here is not format the drive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it, as in it'll be unformatted. That is because the Windows stops, stops the Amiga itself partitioning and, um, you know, formatting the disk if it's Windows formatted for security reasons. So what we need to do here is yeah, list disk, as you said, and it's actually uh, disk 3 here that we're looking at because that's the one that's 968 megabytes. Be careful with this, you can actually wipe your freaking system disk clean if you select the wrong disk. So make sure you know which disk is selected. What the freak is going on? No, select disk 3. Okay, select disk 3. Okay, green. Now, clean. And it should be fine succeeded in cleaning disk. Fantastical. Now you look here, it's not actually formatted even though it says fat. It just says please insert a disk in USB and that's how we want it. Yeah. Okay, so all three things that we need to install AK Real are all here. We need to install Amiga OS 3.9 on an SD card, 2 gigabytes or more, preferably 4 gigabytes or more. I only have a two at the moment. Once we've done that and it's a clean install, oh and also Boeing Bugs 1 and 2. But I'm going to install 3 and 4 also. Now once that's done, you need to install AK Real 9, which is downloaded from the website. And if you have a vampire, you're going to need the installer by Pedro Cotter. And that you just need to, after you've installed AK Real, just need to, you know, click on that. And it should, everything should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and install Amigo S 3.9 in the Boeing bags. However, I have already done a tutorial video in the past. Uh, in, you know, prepping an SD card and then installing OS 3.9 on it, plus the Boeing bags. So I'm not going to go through it again. And also with regards to Amiga OS 3.9, when I did my tutorials back then, I had a number of people, you know, ask me for a copy of OS 3.9. Now, I cannot give you that. This is my legal copy, uh, which, you know, I bought ages ago. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot, you know, share this with you. However, if you Google search Amiga OS 3.9, I'm sure you'll be able to find yourself a copy somewhere. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly dash through, you know, the installation, the prepping of the card and installation of OS 3.9. So, runs administrator, configurations. Also, if you don't have a hard drive setup, you know, configuration, I've got another tutorial on how to create one. It comes in handy, really, it does. So like that makes life so much easier.
Okay, so finally we have installed the OS 3.9 on this new Amikit drive, this uh, SD card, and it's got 1.8 gig free. OS 3.9 just took 24, 23 megabytes. That's nothing. Okay, I'm, I'm not worrying so much anymore. Right, what we need to do now is we need to boot, we're booted in the setup drive. What we need to do now is keep the setup drive there but boot in Amikit. So let's F12 the um, emulator, uh, go into hard drives and then the setup drive which is currently booting up, go to properties and select it as non-bootable and then press reset. Now it should boot up in the new drive now, the Amikit drive, yep and it has. So now we'll go into MSYS which is the setup drive and Boing bags, install them. Yeah. Okay, so all the Boing bags are now complete the installation of all of them. Now we just need to install AK Real, full one. We're fine. Scribble la 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 la. Existing files are overloading. We no further warning. Cool. Freaking karak good. Karak good. <laughs> karak good. Make sure they all say karak good. Socks. Socks news. What the freak was that? <laughs> yes, okay, this is me right now while I'm doing this. Freaking watching all these karak goods go all the way up. <laughs> A bit about the requirements. AK Real requires a real AGA Amiga with uh, 16 megabytes of RAM and 68,000 O30 CPU. No FPU is required. Amiga OS 3.9 needs to be already installed and at least 1.5 gigabyte of disk space uh, spare. All the instructions for things like installation, configuring, game launchers and so forth are on the website itself, which is linked in the description below. Yes, this took longer than I thought. Way freaking longer than I thought. I knew it was gonna take a while, but I would definitely recommend taking out a couple of hours. However, actually, most of the time is taken by the AK Real installation, so you could always go do something constructive rather than sticking earrings in your nose like I did. <laughs> Okay, so it's finished the installation, we reboot, and let's hope it works. Let's hope something works, because we need to install that. Ooh! Wow! We Yeah, I was gonna say, we still need to install that, um, what you call it, the what unknown command. What? Okay. Yeah, it's not at the right resolution, is it? Nice, I like install script. I just hope this works on my 600 now. And I need to install the um, the network device. <laughs> Okay, it's just changing screen modes like crazy. Oh, it's restarting as well. And the lights coming on, it's cool. Oh, okay. It's working. What? And if else. Unknown command. Directory opus seems to be. There's a free. Okay, that's changing straight away. Besides the, you know, image, I have to say the rest of it looks freaking amazing. Um, where's the, uh... So that was the AK Real installation on uh, Win UAE, and then of course the SD card, you know, being uh, put into the actual Amiga Vampire 600. And uh, yeah, it all seemed to run fine. 
And uh, yeah, who says uh, emulators don't come in handy? So thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. And also I'm on uh, Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Flickr, I'm on SoundCloud, I'm on quite a lot of things. So do check out the About section on my channel to get the links to all those things or alternatively in the description below. Also for the generous donations, I would like to say a big thank you to my patrons. Al Hunt, Andrea, Anthony Whittington, Boris Matshin, uh, Brad Hansen, Cameron Armstrong, Kari S. Turner, Karsten Lervad, Casual Commodore, Counting Virtual Sheep, Eric Andre, Espen Galbeck, Gav Messingham, Haysmaker, uh, James Burr, Jan Bita, Jim Leonard, James Herr, Lance Johansson, Mark O'Morin, Matthew, Matt Shapkar, Matthew Simpson, uh, Mickey Holm, Nor E. Obraxis, Patrick Ekman, Peter Lingback, Ransi, Risky Flyer, Robert Menes, Rofi Otterstein, Roy Gelotti, uh, Rudiger Stiedel, uh, Sophie Leroy, Stuart Evans, Thomas Presina, Thomas Muller, The Deeply Cynical, Tina, and Wayne Marsh. And of course, if you wish to see you know, any links to my patrons' stuff like their websites or their YouTube channels, so forth, links are in the description below. Do check them out. And uh, for now, I will say, Adiós.